The headlines on Reporting Scotland this Friday lunchtime. Hello there, good afternoon. The number of people in hospital in Scotland with flu is at the highest level for five years. Statistics from Public Health Scotland show that infection rates remain at what they describe as extraordinary levels, despite dropping back in the week after Christmas. Stephen Gordon has more. Members of the RMT are on strike today and tomorrow at the Trax company network Rail. This means ScotRail is only able to run a skeleton daytime service in parts of the Central Belt, Fife and the Borders. Meanwhile, talks have been taking place between teachers' unions and the Scottish Government ahead of strikes next week. Well, I'm joined now. Scottish Conservative leader Douglas Ross has used his first speech of the new year to say last year was difficult for the Tory party across the UK. The Scottish Government is encouraging people to check if they're receiving all the benefits they're entitled to through the government agency Social Security Scotland. Shopper numbers in Scotland increased in December, although figures show the number of people in shops is still below pre-pandemic levels. That's according... Over the last few weeks, a lot of us will have spent some time with our family, generations coming together to share a meal and each other's company. It's an opportunity to, dry, to dive back into old stories and family history. Now, if that whets your appetite, you may well like to know that this year, the 1921 census has gone online, so you can trace the past of your ancestors, having a proper look at where they lived and worked, as Aileen Clark has been finding out. Some wisdom from Helen Palmer there, ending that report from Aileen Clark. And now time to take a look at your weather forecast and Gillian Smart is in the studio. Good afternoon. Hi, it's Sarah. A bright... Gillian, thank you very much for bringing us up to date. Thank you. And that's all from us for the moment. Sally Magnuson will be here with all of your news, sport and weather during Reporting Scotland at 6.30 tonight. From everyone on the team, thanks for joining us. Bye for now. <laughs>